Hey there, welcome back to the channel. I'm rebuilding this New Process 205 transfer case. And one of the things you can do when you rebuild these is do what's called a uh, twin stick conversion. Normally, this thing has two shafts here that one controls high, neutral, low for front, and one controls high, neutral, low for the rear. Now, typically from the factory, you've got a single stick that lets you shift in four high, four low, two high, and neutral, right? If you move to a twin stick, you can control them independently. So you could actually put it in four wheel drive high or front wheel drive high or front wheel drive low. So it gives you a little bit more options. It's actually much easier to shift. These things can be notoriously difficult to shift when you're pushing both of the shafts from a single stick. So it becomes a lot easier to shift. And this one was a real pain to shift before. I'm also moving things around, so it's just going to be easier. In order to do the conversion, we have to actually modify these. So down inside here, there's an interlock pin that slides back and forth. And that interlock goes into these recesses, gets pushed back and forth between them, and that's what prevents you from being able to do, you know, like low gear in one and high gear in the other, because that would be really bad for the transfer case. We will maintain that lockout, but because the factory never had a setting for front wheel drive, we have to do some grinding on these in order to allow the interlock to move to allow us to put the uh, rear into neutral and then the front into high. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get these cleaned up and then we'll use some marking fluid and mark out what needs to be ground away. Okay, now that I've got them cleaned up, we have to make modifications to the short shaft. The long shaft we're going to leave alone. The short one, which has this detent cut out all the way at the end, and then this one here. We have to modify this and this. So I'm going to move this to the side. So the first spot we have to modify is this detent. The original is roughly a half inch. We need to make it seven eighths long all the way to the, uh, the end of that corner. going to grind out all of that. So we want it to be flat like this all the way over and then have a steep ramp and the overall length from here to here to be 7 eighths when we're done. So we'll take that over to the bench grinder and do this one first. And so there's what it looks like after. You can see we're about seven eighths to the end. The next one, we need to extend this one toward the shallow ramp. It needs to be one inch overall from here to the end of the shallow ramp. You can see right now it is. Mm, about five eighths. This bottom part, you can see where it's flat at the bottom. That needs to be five eighths wide. So basically, this flat part here needs to extend all the way to the where this round part is. And then you need to ramp it up similar profile to this afterward. So in the end, it's going to look like this. So I'll take that over to the grinder and do that. And here is the result of that one. So you can see again, it is, oh, if I can get it in here, 
an inch long and the flat spot across the bottom. Kind of hard to see, but it is about five eighths across. So now this is ready to be installed for a twin stick. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.